during the commemoration of the Scouts Movement's founder, Baden Paul. Speakers at uh, the event noted that the over 2.5 million registered members of the Scouting Movement, a majority of whom are children, could be instrumental in helping the government achieve its climate change agenda of planting up to 15 billion trees by the year 2032. Young climate activist Alice Wanjiru, who was appointed by the Scouts Movement, challenged the government to not only focus on adults, environmentalists and scientists, but to also have a children-centered approach in its design when it leads through policy formulation in the climate mitigation action. Thank you very much. We have members of over 2.2, to be precise, 2.2 million actually. If each one of them, like the deputy governor of Nyeri said, if each one of them undertook to plant a tree in this country, you can imagine the multiply effect it's going to have. But I want to call upon Kenyans to see a Tukawa to an domo Let us plant those trees in our respective homes. Part of these strategies would be that the government should activate proper ways for how climate action should be incorporated in the school's curriculum. Climate change has hit us where it hurts the most, that is food security. Prolonged droughts have become the order of the day, incapacitating food production and leaving large segments of people and the livestock exposed to starvation. This is the compelling reason behind the ramped up efforts by our national government to rally Kenyans to take part in climate response measures to our country and the planet, for planet from this looming devastation.